The category winner of transport is the Wellington International Airport in New Zealand by Studio Pacific Architecture and Warren and Mahoney. Congratulations on winning. So tell us quickly then uh, about this project. It's an international lounge um, that's grafted onto an existing airport. Um, and I think probably the, one of the defining things on the project would be the client's brief, which was to be to divide opinion um, with the design. Um, I think the word they used was edgy. And um, it's interesting because that tends to polarise people. Um, and it leads you as an architect into a territory where you need to create a sense of unease, um, maybe uh, imbalance, which is quite hard. So it does track the territory between being a project that um, is very engaging and interesting, but also has a lot of tension in it. But they wanted that at an airport? It's quite um, unusual. They it? wanted it at an airport where in Wellington um, the wind is extreme and it's well known for being a very windy city. Uh, and so that was an added... Um, extra layer of um, trying not actually, to be honest, to put passengers at, you need to put passengers at ease, and yet certain elements of the design had to be extraordinarily challenging at the same time. So the idea is that the passengers are so freaked out by this that getting on a plane in turbulence is actually a relief. They're not freaked out. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're sheltered from the truth. They can't see out. Okay. There's a couple of car windows, but... Uh, it's a yeah. counterpoint to maybe a, a, a more typical thinking on, on, on airport architecture. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's move over to your, your images you sent in then, because this is, um, is this, um, was this cartoon specifically about you guys? Did you put this in? I did. <laughs> Shall I talk to it? Yeah, you go. <laughs> well, look, I think, um, again, uh, hard to know what images to put in many respects. But it, the project um, did attract a lot of controversy, and I guess the press love the opportunity to characterise things like that. So here's a situation where um, we were being berated while it was being constructed. This is before it's even finished. This is just the emerging form. Um, so interesting, you know, that, that's the... That's, and it probably maybe in one respect it also shows the level of interest in design. So there is another layer to this other than the satire. Well, I suppose it would have been worse if the media had ignored it. <laughs> but the, the passengers, how do the passengers enjoy it? Um, well, I think they've, they've often um, interviewed people and I guess the, the range of responses is, is, is as diverse as you can imagine. Um, but it does have a very uh, enclosing and calm presence to it. So in many respects, it, it's, a, it's a lovely space to be in before you go on the plane. And the rest of your images are, are, are lovely postcards of the part of the world where you're <laughs> from. So tell us, about, tell us about this. I guess uh, this, this is a little, just a bit, a bit about topography for Wellington. We're on a, a city on a fault line. Uh, we suffer um, seismic issues, as you know, about Christchurch, or mm. you may have heard. Um, Wellington probably would be a forerunner to Christchurch, but it hasn't happened yet. Uh, so for me, I guess this, this shows uh, Barcelona and the world a little bit more about Wellington. A beautiful harbour, uh, CBD to the front, um, on a very calm day, which is uh, unusual. And um, so tell us about this. This is um, the, the, the coast. This is, the, um, this is very close to the airport. Um, and I think what it represents is that a lot of New Zealand architecture is inspired by our landscape. Uh, and I think we are inherently very contextual. Um, and a lot of the work that is evolving out of the country is incredibly connected to the land and to the place. And it's probably a high degree of site specificity um, and very evocative place. Um, and I suppose Wellington encapsulates that with the hills and the fault lines that Ralph talked about and the wild ocean, the windswept sea. Um, it, it's hard not to take all that into account. In so many respects, a lot of the work is in the landscape. And the urban work, which is evolving clearly um, at, a, at a great speed, is, is probably following in the trails of work that was led through landscape. So does that mean there's a sort of emerging sort of New Zealand school of design or even a, a look or an approach? 
I don't think it's necessarily a, a style, but maybe it's an approach. Um, and uh, it, it probably means that our urban work is more challenging because we're, we're not as mature in our city development and urbanisation as other cities are, obviously. So we're learning a lot from other parts of the world and bringing that through into our own landscape. This is a nice image. This is, this is a... Uh, I've heard of this. This is a world of wearable arts. Wow, it's uh, unique to New Zealand, I think. Um, it started by a woman in Nelson, and she's developed this program about design for to wear, um, which has grown out of a very small city in New Zealand to Wellington, which has become very successful. It runs for three to four weeks, and I understand it's coming to the world. And for us, this is a dress that won a category uh, made of timber. Uh, beautiful dress, and maybe this is a reflection on some of the work here relating to the interior uh, we approached on the, uh, the rock. So this this is, is, is like a, a festival, is it, basically, or like a living museum where people oh, are pageantry? It's a fantastic event, and if anyone gets a chance to see WOW or, or be there, uh, take it. It's, it's very worthwhile. You're doing a wonderful job for the New Zealand Tourist Board. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> some of the finest bars can be found in... <laughs> no, it's great. I'm not teasing. It's great. I think that's actually that's exactly right. Um, this is just the last little shot of actually it's the it's the space outside our studio, um, and it is a little heritage precinct. But it, it probably just shows um, you know the scale. The buildings are pretty small, so it, it's it's a kind of reflection of of the of the sort of street life that we have outside our our studio in Wellington. Well, it's been great talking to you. Thanks for showing us so much about where you come from, and um, congratulations on winning the category. Thank you.